I'm Lisa Baylash, also known as Kettlebell Bombshell. I'm a Fitfluential Ambassador and also a Reebok One Ambassador. Today, I'm going to talk about the differences in all of the different styles of kettlebells that you may see. So, the standard fitness tool would be black, cast iron, very durable, very cool. Then you have some vinyl coated kettlebells. These are also pretty awesome, but they don't really have a you know, a function other than if you drop them, they're not going to scratch your floor as much and things like that. There's not really a safety thing for the vinyl coating. It's just for protection of your floors. And it's also prettier because they're in, you know, all kinds of beautiful colors. Now, these are competition kettlebells. These are my absolute favorite. These are the ones that I use almost always and with the majority of my clients. Now, I don't expect everyone to want to use the competition bell because some people do not feel safe with it. They think it's way too big and they're just not used to it yet. So I like to ease them into kettlebell training and I don't like to force anything on people. So I let them feel comfortable. That to me is most important for their safety. So if they don't feel comfortable, they could easily do something wrong and I don't want that to happen. So I usually start them off with the fitness training unless they're coming to me specifically for kettlebell competition. These kettlebells are standard competition kettlebells. And if you'll notice, this bell is 18 pounds, this bell is 26 pounds, and they look identical. They look like brother and sister. So the handle is the exact same size. The circumference of the bell is the exact same size. The distance from the handle to the bell is the same size no matter what weight you go up to. So we have up to 40, 40 pounds where I am right now. And at my studio, I, I go all the way up to 70 pounds. So with these kettlebells, I usually prefer to use them because every time I get stronger or if I change up my workouts, my form and my technique stays the same at all times because my hand is going to go in the exact same place. When I rack the kettlebell, it's gonna sit in the exact same place. And when it goes overhead, also the same place. So that makes me feel very, very, you know, I'm very comfortable and very confident with that. Now with these, this one is a completely different size of this one. So this has a skinny handle, which feels great when you start, but what happens when you get stronger and now the handle became thicker. And this handle is actually a little bit thicker than the competition belt. So you don't want the majority of the weight to be in the handle. You actually want the majority of the weight to be here, the center of mass especially when you're doing ballistic drills like jerks and snatches and that kind of thing. So this is what you will see typically at most gyms. A lot of people like to use the standard fitness style, which is totally fine. The fitness exercises, a lot of times figure eights, um, trying to think what else might come in handy with those. Just certain things where people feel more comfortable having a smaller object over their head. And I totally understand that. But like I said, if you're competing in kettlebell sport, these are a must. So if you're thinking about doing that and you're a beginner in kettlebells, nothing wrong with that. It's great to have goals. You should look into it and always think you're going to have to order yourself either a set of kettlebell competition bells or you may have to go to a gym that already has the competition style kettlebell. So thanks for watching the video. Hope it was informative. And now the next video, this is going to go on the Fitfluential blog post. So go ahead and check out their website, fitfluential.com, and you can leave some comments on the video, let me know what you think, and I'll put the link in the description for you so you don't even have to remember the website, and you can check out all of the great content on Fitfluential, and become a member because it's free, and you get all kinds of free perks and great content from tons of other Fitfluential ambassadors like myself, lots of other information out there. So go check that out, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.